Here we go. A young man's fiery red hair shifted in the gentle sea breeze as he listened to the soothing sounds of the waves. His dark eyes gleamed with the gentle sunlight reflecting off of the roaring surf. This young man was Otto Christie. He stood alone on White Farm Beach, silently pondering his adventures in hysteria from two years ago. It had all suddenly begun, seemingly begun with the machination of the dark fact. He was a descendant of one of the priests of East. This later led to the battle with Dom, a being born from the corruption that festered within the Black Pearl, born with human desire, with great power. Adol turned around, turning the page on that chapter of his life, and looked ahead to new adventures. Centuries ago, Ease had been a true utopia, a land at the height of its golden age. But even with the blessing of its twin goddesses and their six priests, the land fell under the looming shadow of the power of the Black Pearl. Had the goddesses, Fina and Ri, had foreknowledge As Adol's thoughts straight back to the goddesses, so too did his gaze drift back toward the waves. Hmm, what's that? Adol found a letter inside the bottle, but the language in which it was written was completely unfamiliar. He suddenly thought of Lutagen, a poet who was also a descendant of an East priest. He was able to read it. I don't thought I don't. Hmm, it's written in Sassetian. It says, Sassetian is in dire need. Please, if a great hero lives among you, send him to aid us. I guess someone in Sassetian really needs my help. Something about this called to Adol's heart. He decided to answer the summons, making immediate preparations to leave for Sassetian. And so Adol's adventures continue ever onward. This, my friends, is Ease 4, Mask of the Sun. Hello, I am your friendly neighborhood Tenkaichi, and this is Ease, Mask of the Sun. Now, if you're wondering, If you're wondering about it, the story takes place right after East 2. Because the story actually it does take place right after East 2, so that means Wanderers from East, otherwise known as East 3, is technically a side story or a guide. So it did happen in between. So it's been a while since I actually done an Ease game, so I figured, hey, since I already finished something, I might as well put something in else's place, right? So yeah, we're going to. There is going to be a bit of um cheater involved, but that's about it. So. Let's start this off proper, shall we? Esther, mini-up course. 
not really leaving already, are you, Adol? You haven't even told anyone you're going? Well, if you're going to go, you should probably do it now. If Lilia sees you trying to leave, you'll have a devil of a time getting out of here. So, that all leaves. Dogie sees him off. Well, best of luck to you. Wait just a moment! Dr. Flair, really? What? Oh, it's you, Dr. Flair. Aren't you, Doctor, supposed to be more careful or something? You almost gave us a heart attack. Oh, that was close. I'm sorry about that. I was afraid I would get here in time. I was hoping to come along with you. There's supposed to be a special kind of flower in Sasata. With powerful medicinal properties. I believe I could develop a powerful panacea from it. Let's get going! So everything is being all said and... Cell's been lifted and off we go. Now for those who are wondering... This is the Super Nintendo, uh, the, the Super Famicom version of Dawn of East, which is also East 4 on the PC engine. CD. And so, Otto and Flair's ship made the journey across the Dwarf Sea, finally reaching the port town of Promo. By the way, Otto, I spoke to the sailors about aboard the ship. I was told that a group of traveling merchants are uh, around the southern parts of town. I'll see if there's any way we can hitch a ride from them. And there goes Dr. Flair. So here we are in the town of Prumrock. It's the poor town of Prumrock. And since it plays like the classic version of Ease, it only means one thing. So I live and breathe. If it isn't at all! It's me! Norton! Wow, it's good to see you still in one piece. Whatever happened atop that, atop that tower, that light was visible for miles around. Why don't you come with me? Bixen would be glad to see you, and we can have a drink. Well, I, I guess it's a bit early in the day to drink. Still, you should pay Bixen a visit. And so, he does. Vixen! Ah, Adol, it's good to see you. And I well, please have a seat. I've got so many questions for you, and I don't even know where to begin.
I hope you're not planning on leaving again any time soon. No. And so time passed. And so the three talked for hours. What's that again? Oh, come on, Adol. You're going to Sosetta? You never get tired of putting your life on line, do you? There have been some strange rumors flying around about that place lately. Not going to test it out. Okay. Where is that? The Real Moon Empire's got sights set on it for some reason. Given all the forts they've been building along the, nation, the nation's borders. I think a little suspicion is valid. Still, I know better than to think that would keep you away. Well, nothing else. We can at least see you off. I made some travel arrangements for us. This merchant happens to be going to Sosota. Between your skills as a sword and my skills as a doctor, you'll find the trip much safer if we come with him. Are you ready to go, or do you need to do anything else before we meet? Don't make any final preparations if you need to. I'll be waiting here. Don't be too long. So as you see, it works just like Wanderers for me. Select pulls up the um status like so. And yes, I gave myself a little cheat for defense because you know. As you can tell, my strength is piddly. And my defense normally would be piddly. And as you can see, Adol and I equipped with anything. Of course, we can always save. And... We can always save and whatnot, but, well. We can just wait. Hey, do you know? Do you know? Uh, hey, do you know about that informant guy called Durin? No. Huh. Didn't think so. Supposedly he sells valuable information. I don't know why I was flickering for. This is, um, a weapon shop. Sorry, but we don't open for business until 10. Can you come back then? This may be exactly what I need. Take care. Don't be such a stranger. So are we all set? I don't know 
travels pretty damn fast. I heard that a huge mountain was floating in the air above Hysteria, but now it's back where it belongs. Just my luck. I would have loved to be able to see that for myself. Talking about Dark Tower. Apparently monsters are swarming around the border for some reason. on some useful info. Some monsters are venomous, so you need to be really careful, especially if you happen to travel through the forest. If you ever get poisoned, you can cure it with an antidote. Ah yes, and here's... That's a blacksmith, and here's where you can get, get your, um... Weapon and armor. Sorry, but we don't open for business until 10. Can you come back then? Yeah, nobody opens until 10. There's a village called Celery. Somewhere in these parts. They have a nice open air market. I bet the bargains there are amazing. And mind you, this game was fan translated by Aeon Genesis, as you can tell. So, I have no money to my name, so let's go. Alright then, let's go. So stranger! Probably not gonna gain weapons until like oh say after we pass this part. Well, here we are. First order of business should be to leave our things at the end. Adults just don't carry a sword on it on hand. Have you noticed how many soldiers are on patrol? It's a little strange, don't you think? Welcome! There's nothing like a nice rest in one of our rooms. Take care of what ails you. Only Tango! What do you say? You don't have enough. Well, of course, we just arrived. I'm a traveling merchant. Get have a look at my wells. I can't get for you. You have herbs and an antidote. Herbs are for 50, antidotes for 100. We don't have anything. No. No, I'm good, thanks. Are you sure? Well, come back if you change your mind. I'm noticing how many soldiers are on the patrol, yes. So let's talk around, get some info. There's a blacksmith somewhere in Sassetta. If you take your sword, Tim, he can temper it for you. Which is new to the, um, series. At that point in time. And as you see, Adol is not equipped with anything. They're like... Oh, so many slots for shields, armor, and swords. If you make your way through the mountain pass, you'll reach the great forest of Selsen. 
However, it's a treacherous journey. If you're going to try it, make sure you're equipped with for fighting. So there's um some medical. There's your armory. Hmm. I haven't seen you around here before. I don't think. Orders are to arrest and interrogate any and all suspicious people. Alright, get in there. How am I suspicious? I don't even have a weapon! Hey there, bruh. Guess they tossed you in here to keep me company, eh? Name's Durin. You can say I'm an information vendor. Ah, you're that informant that people been talking about. No great shock that I'm in here. But you? You must have hit a patch of some major bad luck. Soldiers are no soldier all on edge anyway. They'll toss you in the air if you so much as look at them cross-eyed. Fun for them, not so much for us. Luckily for me, there's always a market for information, even in rat right hole like this. You interested? Sure. Ah 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 ah. Hold up a second. This kind of info this kind of info doesn't come cheap, you know. How about five thousand go Ah, <laughs> just messing with you. I would charge you, but prisoners don't have any money. So I guess I'll give you this little tidbit as a freebie. Get this. Once you travel through that pass. In the mountains, you'll find a huge forest. Supposedly it was once some kind of rich and peaceful place. Legendary has it that ages ago, race of people with wings lived there. Lots of stories on ancient secrets and that sort of thing. Not too sure I believe a word of it myself. It's better. Legends even say the forest of Celsetta hides a castle made of soul solid gold. Of course, nobody's ever seen it. Oh, come on. You mean you've never heard of that story before? Ah, well, to be honest, I don't know too much more beyond that. Sure would be nice if it were true. Can you imagine the kinds of treasure you could find there? That's about all I can tell you. Oh. Hey! What was that? Did that wall just move? I guess it did. Hmm. I wonder. Aha! Secret passage! Well, looks like this is where I take my leave. I suggest you do the same, bro. Song! like our worries are over yet, bruh. What do we do about those guards out, out there? What? How'd you get out of your cell, you swine? 
fat lot of good attention. Get back down there now! Wait! Yes, sir. Captain! At Eastman! I've been told about you by one Dr. Flair. He says that you're a traveler and aren't out to cause trouble. Yeah, that's right. I may have red hair, but come on, man. I apologize for any rough treatment my men have inflicted on you. Please, allow me to escort you back to your evening. That's my chance! I feel I should make recompense for the ordeal I put you through. You're welcome to return to the fort and take whatever you wish from the treasury in there. Now, excuse me. I have a meeting which I must. Ah, oh, you one, bruh. Not for you, I'd still be stuck in there. Can't stick around, though. Place to go, people say. Take it easy. I could have been a pretty major sucker. You think? The official story is that the Roman soldiers are guarding the village keep the people safe from demons. But it honestly seems more like they're out to quietly conquer Sasuda and make it part of their empire. Whatever they want to call it, this whole area seems to be on high alert, which strikes me as a little odd. I think there's more going on here. Than simple guard duty. Try to be careful. First things first, though, you should get some rest. I know you must be tired from the trip and that mess today. You can always visit the fort's treasury tomorrow. Oh, trust me, I plan to. So, a day has passed. Meanwhile, I won't answer Skaruda. When do you expect we can begin our invasion and claim Sasetta as part of the Roman Empire? You three mages were hired to speed things along, and you're being paid handsomely service as well. Where are the results you promised? I hope you don't expect us to wait until the townsfolk figure it all out. A thousand's pardon, Captain. I humbly request that you bear with the delay a while longer. We have brought many powerful monsters Bear and all is going according to plan. Their resolve weakens by the day, and soon we shall wipe them out in one fell swoop. Very well. I look forward to seeing the fruits of your labor. If you cannot deliver on your promises, we shall have to terminate our Faith and patience, uh, that is all we ask of you. By your leave, I shall return to my work. What manner of power to this major's employ?
And so, the next day arrives. Ah, good morning, Adol. You are planning to leave town to find whoever wrote that letter, weren't you? I'll be leaving soon as we... Uh, uh, I'll be leaving soon as well. That's on your mind. I need to ask around to see if I can get more information about the Sussex Club first, though. Best of luck to you as well. As you can tell, we're dealing with classic ease movement, you know, which is basically touching. You don't press a button and like, oh no, you don't press a button just to say, oh, I want to see this. No, no. So perhaps I can go inside the fort. No, no, no. no. This is. Oh, that's the. That's leaving out. This must be the fort. Come on, God. I don't have time to talk to you, civilians. Of course, this is where we came out of. Treasury. So we got 500 gold. Herbs. Thank you, trumpets. And Rhoda Manson. So we got an Letter in a bottle, the herbs, and rotomism. Allow me to give you a little friendly advice, then. You'd best off making sure not to meddle in the affairs of this land. That said, I wish you well. Yeah, okay. That means keep your nose out of the affair of others. Of course, this is Adol the Red Christian we're talking about. Sometimes it's pronounced Christine, other times it's Christian. So I'm just calling it what I what I see, Christine. Adol Christine. Besides, there was an anime based off this game, so. I'm not doing it because of an anime. I had a big problem with demons in recent weeks. The Roman soldiers have come here to protect us, they say. I don't like it though. It feels more like an occupation than protection. That's what we've been told. So let's gear up, shall we? How can we deal in only the finest weapons here? What can I get for you? Give me a short sword. Nah, not now. 
thank you. And I need a pair of... I need some gear. What do you have for armor? Leather mill. Shielding, please. Let's equip the following. Since we are properly equipped, what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to stop here and drop a safe state like so. And in the next part, we're actually going to do some adventuring and possibly go from there. So stay tuned. More of Ease, Mask of the Sun, right after this.